My name is Olufem Daniel. I am a presenter, a TV host, and a content creator. Well, my journey into the media industry started back uh, from university, right? I used to, you know, do a lot of events in school. I did production. Um, most of the production knowledge that I have today I uh, learned on the job. I've never been to a media school before. Um, but I remembered back in 2013, I got my first shot at being um, in the limelight when I was uh, employed into Hip TV, and that was how I got into the mainstream media. <music> On the show, my role will be to be one of the hosts um, alongside Elle. Uh, both of us are going to be doing justice to anchoring the live show, the elimination show, and of course, every other thing that has to do with talking and presenting on the show. One word to describe how I work. I am a workaholic, I would say, honestly. I am a workaholic. I sleep four hours, three hours sometimes, and then you have to wake up to work. <laughs> My professional advice to someone who wants to be in the media space is do not follow the crowd. Just do you, you know, we're in a space where everybody wants to be a celebrity and want to just move at your, at your pace at God's pace for you, honestly, because it's called showbiz. It's show business. You show up for the business. At the end of the day, if you lose yourself on the bit, nobody really cares except God. So trust me, just follow your pace and do you. If I wasn't in the media space, ah, maybe, maybe I would be called. <laughs> I know that if I was in the media space, I probably would be a gospel minister because I mean, I sing in church too. So yeah, I probably would have been like a gospel music minister. I am excited about this initiative because um, over three years now, myself and the convener, the the convener of this project, um, Mr. Easy T, have been talking about this, you know, knowing full well that over time we've not had a platform that would help people who are in the gospel industry to, you know, to achieve their God-given potential. It's not enough for you to have, what do you call it, talent, have a great voice. You need money to push whatever dream that you have. And I think that this is the right time. It is something that's been on the heart of God, and I think God is just using this channel to bring it to life. So I'm excited about this, and I hope that after this first one, we'll have many, many more editions of the Gospel Groove Talent Quest. Here's a concept is I'm a friend of the house, I'm family, and I would really say that this global concept is actually happening at the right time. I remember that um, when is it, when he came to Lagos um, back then and we had like a series of administrations with the artists then, he was, um, when he told me the things he wanted to do for some time, I was like, come on, no gospel. Do we even really have gospel music record labels, right? But here's a record label that has, you know, shaped or defined what gospel music record labels should be like you have an artist you sign an artist and then boom the artist you give the artist a car and all of that and i am just happy that someone who would will be selfless enough to be able to say you know what i just want to see god's kingdom grow and all of that and this is the label right now that a lot of other labels will be looking at to say that you know what i want to start a gospel music label right there's somebody who has laid a path for us to follow. And I think that uh, this is just God's project, God's idea, birthing through Easy T. In terms of professionalism, I think that we have 
fantastic singers, amazing singers. But, you know, from the professional angle, a lot of people, there's no structure really to really tell you that, okay, we have the, like Easy calls it, it's the industry. We have the ministry and we have the industry. A lot of people have come to say that, see, sometimes you don't need a manager. You just need, you just need to call you, show up in church. Don't worry, we have honorarium. Do they even tell you what it is? I think that a lot of time we just need people to know that there has to be a structure to have an ENR, have a manager. I think that we need to now bring that into the, the Christian, I mean, how I put it, circle. Because the Bible says that everything be done in decency and in order. So if things are going to be done in order, it means that there has to be a manager, an e &R, there has to be finance, there has to be budget, there has to be styling, there has to be makeup, there has to be this. So sometimes I also think that, you know, um, people should be willing to, um, to help talents in church also because the same people that you're calling somebody decided to spend money on this artist in GUC and Judy K and Chidema and say they are now fine enough they are good enough their music sounds like well enough they mix the master the songs for you to invite them to your church so we have people like that in church also can we also show interest and develop these people and I think that for all those people who want to open record labels let's do it the proper way you can seek counsel from people like you with Bobo. Right. My expectations from the show is that I, I want everybody to come with the mindset of coming to learn. I know you want to win. You want to be the deserving winner. Everybody that gets on this quest is deserving to be there. And I think that most of the time, not even the person that wins, you know, uh, how would I put it, <clears throat> ends up becoming most of the time similar to issues where it's not the winner that really becomes the star of that set. I'm not saying this, I'm just saying that when you come, come with a mindset of wanting to learn, right? Come with a mindset of wanting to grow. Um, especially in the music, gospel music as well, I've got a proud people, proud singers, like, we think this one won't teach me. This one wants to teach me what, you know. But to be very hard to see, pride is in singers. Pride is recites in singers. I can tell you for that. Like somebody just like, oh, you know that Judy K, what is she singing? You know, they'll have money that can blow up like that. When you come, don't, don't, see, the Lord resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. So just come, learn. If you're coming for this, you will go through fire, I can assure you. But trust me, if you can survive the booth camp, if you can survive it, you're good to go. So come with a mindset of wanting to learn. Whether you are announced as the winner or not, just come and be better. What's up, everyone? My name is Olufemi Daniel, and this is the Gospel Groove Talent Quest. And guess what? It's all about the gospel. God bless you. It's all about the gospel. Come on. Gospel Groove. It's all about the gospel.